Welcome back to This Morning Rush. And this morning, a bill that allows people to get an arrest or conviction taken off their record is making its way through the state legislature. It's called the Criminal Record Expungement Act. And what it does is removes a person's criminal record from public view under certain circumstances. Now, some offenses would not be eligible for expungement, such as homicide, sex crimes, or crimes against children. Kristen. Our next big weather maker scrapes to the north today, so we're going to be watching that far northwestern corner for rain and high mountain snow above 9,000 feet. Most of us further south, including Albuquerque, just a mostly to partly sunny sky with breezy to windy conditions and very strong winds in the Sangre Cristo Mountains overnight. Crystal? At 6.30 tonight, Edgewood is set to discuss becoming the next Second Amendment sanctuary city. Right now, 27 of New Mexico's 33 counties are pushing back against Senate Bill 8 by declaring themselves Second Amendment sanctuary counties. The Senate bill requires background checks for privately sold guns, and at gun shows, the bill awaits the governor's signature. In just minutes, R. Kelly's full interview with Gail King is airing on CBS this morning. This is Kelly looks forward to a court appearance on March 22nd. Emotions are running high as R. Kelly denies that he sexually abused four people, three of them underage girls. Now, last month, Kelly pleaded not guilty to 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse, dating as far back as 1998. Santa Fe Public Schools will continue getting millions in taxpayer dollars. Overnight numbers show voters approve the measure in their mail-in election. Voters are saying yes to the five-year renewal of a property tax that brings in $11 million a year for things like laptops and classrooms. Property taxes won't increase as a result, the election garnering a record turnout. This morning, people in Sacramento and San Francisco are waking up with rain that you see here on camera. And those hit by the wildfires last year are now being forced to flee because of the storm. Officials are worried that burn scars will give way to flooding and mudslides. Malibu City crews have been clearing out storm drains and setting up road barriers. State Senate could soon take up a bill aimed at protecting the legal rights of sexual assault victims. House Bill 135 would add a sexual assault survivor's bill of rights to the criminal code. It would require that police notify survivors about their legal rights, including access to sex assault evaluation kits, and require that those kits be processed within 180 days. Well, if you plan on getting a shingles vaccine this morning, you might have to wait. The journal reports that local pharmacies show that nearly all have a waiting list of at least 100 people. Now, the increased waiting list comes after the CDC's recommendation that all adults get the, 50, uh, get the vaccine by the age 50. Looking ahead for you this morning, the U.S. Senate could soon vote on proposed legislation to end the war in Afghanistan. New Mexico's U.S. Senator Tom Udall is one of the senators proposing the legislation. The act would set guidelines for withdrawing from the area within 45 days, also withdrawing all troops within a year. The war would also give 25, I should say the proposal would also give $2,500 bonuses to those who've served. Two bills calling for restrictions on late-term abortion will not make it to the governor's desk. This after failing in committee. According to the Santa Fe New Mexican, one of the bills would only allow late-term abortions in an emergency. Another will allow medical providers to opt out if it clashes with their beliefs. A former APD officer fired after a deadly crash will likely continue volunteering for an organization that advocates for positive perception of law enforcement. The organization called the Wounded Blue, you might remember, in 2017, Jonathan McDonald hit a family's car, killing a little boy and breaking his own leg. He settled with the boy's family for Millions. It could soon be unlawful to separate a refugee child from their parents without a court order. That's if a bill makes it to the governor's desk. House Bill 625 states that it's unlawful to separate a refugee child from their parents without a court order. Now, it would also be unlawful if a child dies or is neglected because basic needs are not met. A Senate bill increasing the minimum wage could soon be taken up by another Senate committee. This after clearing its first hurdle, Senate Bill 437 would gradually increase the minimum wage to $9.25 per hour in October. It will cap off at $11 per hour in 2022. Along those lines, another bill passed by the House will not be moving forward. This after a Democratic senator is crossing party lines. House Bill 31, a bill uh, would increase the wage to $12 per hour in 2021 with future increases tied to inflation. Now, according to the Albuquerque Journal, Democratic lawmaker Mary Kay Papin is voting against the measure along with Republicans. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index added three. We've got some chilly temperatures in the 30s this morning. This afternoon, breezy conditions out of the south southwest. Those winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. No problems with the sky conditions, though, mostly sunny with highs in the 60s. Crystal?
This morning, the city says it's still optimistic that ART bus service will increase ridership. This, as new numbers show, between fiscal year 2016 and fiscal year 2018, there was a decline of 1.7 million riders. The city is currently reviewing their entire system of routes to see if changes need to be made. The CEO of Southwest Airlines says the airline is losing millions of dollars a week over a labor dispute. Now, Southwest says some workers are writing up minor problems. They say it's causing planes to be grounded. Now, adding it's to, to, to gain leverage in union negotiations, that's something that the union denies. New at 6, New Mexico residents could soon get into state parks on Sunday for free. That's if a House Bill 284 makes it to the governor's desk. Right now, it's in the hands of the Senate Finance Committee. Sponsors say it promotes state parks by making them more accessible. Kristen. Time now for a check on traffic. Looking at the map, everything moving smoothly at this hour. No major crashes or slowdowns to report. Big Eye also moving at a posted speed. Of course, we'll keep eyes on this for you throughout the morning. Well, this morning you can take a look at photos showing Albuquerque's past. The, photo, the Albuquerque Museum says they plan on uploading about 130,000 more of these to an e-museum. It's an online database with thousands of photos of what Albuquerque used to look like even more than a century ago. You can see them by heading to alwaysonkrqe.com. All right, we are taking you back 15 years ago on this day. We had the earliest last freeze on record here in Albuquerque. We did 30 degrees. Didn't see those freezing temperatures return until November. That was 15 years ago. Time now for a look at the five facts. Number five, clowns are in town. Nearly 200 clowns from around the world are calling Albuquerque home this week for the annual World Clown Convention. The clowns will compete in categories like face painting skits and balloon sculptures. And number four, a look into Albuquerque's past continues to grow online. It's all thanks to the work of curators at the Albuquerque Museum. The E-Museum is an online database with thousands of photos of what Albuquerque used to look like through the decades. At number three, looking at spotty rain and high mountain snow in the northwest, everybody else including Albuquerque, mostly sunny skies, breezy conditions, and warmer temperatures statewide. At number two, the first major gun control bill of this legislative session sits on the governor's desk this morning, but the fight against it is ramping up. Tonight, Edgewood is set to have a public discussion on becoming the next Second Amendment sanctuary city. Right now, 27 of New Mexico's 33 counties are already declared Second Amendment sanctuary counties. SB 8 requires background checks for privately sold guns and, and a guns shows. Number one, now APD is making some big changes. That means officers patrolling the streets this morning may not respond to all calls. APD says officers will only run lights and sirens to life-threatening situations like a shooting, a stabbing, or a crime where a weapon is involved. Lower priorities are any crimes that have already occurred and, or there's no threat to anyone. For those type of calls where an officer is not needed, you'll have to file a report online or over the phone phone or at a substation. APD says this is all to keep officers available for high priority calls. For more details on this, go to our website, alwaysonkrqe.com.